Hey guys, it's Jermaine Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 37 on SL exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're, you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So the lifetime of a printer costing 200 is expo exponentially distributed with a mean of 2. Um, manufacturer agrees to pay a full refund if the fail occurs between the first year of purchase. So from 0 to 1 year, they're going to pay the full amount, the 200. But if it fails between 1 and 2, they're going to pay a half of the amount. Which is going to be a hundred, and they're saying what will be the total amount refund of a sale from a hundred printers? Okay, and then everything beyond two is going to be zero. So knowing that this is not too bad, so this is essentially going from the expected value going from zero to one is going to be two hundred times the probability distribution function, which we know for exponential function to be one over two e to the negative t over two plus in going from 1 to 2, the expected value is 100 times the probability distribution function, which is 1 half e to the negative t over 2. Because, you know, this is just something we need to know. 1 over lambda e to the negative t over lambda is the distribution function for exponential function. So definitely memorize that one if you don't have it memorized already. But now nah, this just becomes a regular integration problem, right? Not too bad here. So this becomes actually negative e to the negative t over 2 integrating from 0 to 1 plus 100 negative e to the negative t over 2 integrating from um, 1 to 2 upper limit here is going to give you 200 negative e to the negative 1 over 2 minus minus upper limit here e to the 0 is just 1 so that's going to be just 1 plus 100 right here negative e to the negative upper limit here 2 over 2 that's just 1 minus minus plus e to the negative one half alrighty cool stuff now we just have to plug in chug I'm plugging in this whole thing just into the calculator one two hundred times one minus e to the negative one half plus one hundred times e to the negative one half minus e to the negative one and this is equal to one o oh, 2.5588 so on so on but we know that there is actually 100 of these computers so we just have to multiply this by 100 so then you get 10255.89899 which is approximately equal to 10256 our answer D if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share